Hi folks and friends, I'm The Fringe and welcome to a game called My Time at Portia. Now this is another random game that I found on Game Jolt, however this game looks quite involved and quite in depth, so expect quite a few cuts in this because I want to give you a full taste of the story without boring you if that makes sense. So, allons-y. Oh, so here we are arriving in Portia on our little boat. It looks very fresh. The art of this game is spot on because it just looks happy and that's what you want. We're coming up on Portia. Look how happy it looks. Down straight, it's beautiful. Although a lot of the buildings don't look quite structurally integral to themselves. That doesn't make sense. Brush past that, doesn't matter. I should be reading this, but I'm not. But the subtitles are there, so don't be lazy, you know. Read it yourself. Like, you're part of this too. We're a team. Well, good luck to you. So, let's see what the stitch is. Ooh. So, here we are. This looks very well polished for a pre-alpha. I have to get that out there. It does look very well polished. Alright, so here we are. Marco. Presley, how do you do? Good to see you again. Hope you had a pleasant journey from Bar Barnock. Right, that's quite far. That sounds like a random place as well. Yeah. Anyway, I'm here to show you a workshop. So if you'd like to please follow me, it's pretty close. Okay. So, WASD to move. We like that. Oh, I love the little animations as well when you're sort of running running about. So, what's the sitch? We're like a builder type guy type thing. And here we are. Your workshop. This place has seen some wear and tear. So it's all about building this game, I think, from what I can gather. And there's no voice acting, which is fine. It is pre-alpha. Now then, here's a letter from your father. He asked me to present it to you when you've seen this house. When you read this letter, I'm already on the other side of the world. I'm sorry about that. I'm sorry I'm not able to be your father that you want. This was all of a sudden. I didn't have much time to tell you or figure out how to care for you. Then I thought about this workshop. This isn't... Uh, this sounds horrible. <laughs> then I thought about this workshop. It might not look like much, but it will brace you from the wind and cover you from the rain. I leave you with my workshop handbook. The details that details how I worked my workshop. How I worked my workshop. Okay. The rest is up to you. Do your best and live a wonderful life. You'll always be my pride and joy. Pa. Oh, that's sad. Here's a workshop handbook. Okay. So let's get into building stuff. There'll be plenty of other Let's Plays where people read through everything and go through everything. But at the same time, I do want to give you guys a sort of taster of the game rather than just the opening. Although the opening is very important because games need to do this to sort of build backstory. It's time to get to bed. It's still light. That was sinister. Oh, my head hurts. I didn't sleep well from the, all the breeze coming through the cracks last night. Well, we should fix that, shouldn't we? Oh. Oh, I can punch. Bam. Oh, this guy's hardcore. Yes. Right, let's go straight out into the wilderness. Right, I've got to meet Presley. Straight through the gates. Loving life. Oh. Can I turn the sensitivity down a tad? Right, guys, I just turned down the sensitivity, so hopefully it's a lot better now. Where is Presley? I don't know where he is. Is he down here? Let's follow the map. Is he up here somewhere? There's a star up here on the map, so maybe that's where he is. I like the music. It's very, very calm and relaxing and nice. Can we zoom in on our character? No, not yet. Never mind. Okay, so is he over here or something? Let's just have a wonder for the time being. Oh, is this star just telling me that... Uh, Let's have a wonder. I know we're supposed to be meeting someone, but let's just see what's going on. Oh, he is here. Nice to see you setting in. We're set, settling very, set, le, 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 settling in very well. Thank you, Presley. Now then, let me give you your builder test. This is pretty easy. Make an axe, make a pickaxe, and pickaxe and bring them to me. Okay. You'll need to have wooden stones to make these. You can gather them on your own or buy them from the Commerce Guild shop over there. Okay, so I've got a rock from here, because you can pick up rocks, which is always good. Are these branches that I can pick up? Okay, I've got wood now. That's good. More wood. We need more of this. Gather all the stuff and all the things. 
I can't remember if that's enough, but let's let's just be safe and gather a little bit more. Pick it up. Pick it up. Right. That's fantastic, you poos. Whoop. Cheeky cheeky. Cheeky cheeky. Okay. I want a simple axe, please. Just the one. I only want one. Let's not go mad. And what else do I need? Oh, I need a pickaxe. But, unfortunately, I need more stone and more wood. So, let's go get more stones and more wood. Can I... Can I use my axe to cut down the tree? Yes, that's what I'm talking about. I'll see how this game's going to work. So, we're obviously sort of like low level at this game. But presumably, as the, as the game goes on, you can create massive, vast, mad things, however big you like. And this is early access, so as I say, it's going to be janky and it's going to be a bit off. But it's quite... It's quite well polished for an early access game. Right, I need more rocks and stuff. It's really nice as well. Just look around. It's like it's really quite cute. Let's get some more rocks. No more rocks here. Rocks there. Oh, I need some rocks. Oh, we're going quick now. We're going Sonic fast. What's that? There's a guy over there with an umbrella. And a lamb. Oh, it's a llama. And um, we can kill them, apparently. I just want some rocks for the time being, like. Let's see whether I can build this now. Oi, we can. So it is craft based, which is cool. And now we've got a pickaxe, so let's go and meet our mate. Which is back in the communal building. I'm going to sneeze. <coughs> oh, that was disgusting. If you had to watch that, guys, I'm sorry. I could cut it out, but if you're watching this, I obviously haven't, and that's uh, disgusting. I'm going to the wrong building. Okay, okay. Where's our mate? You're right, Presley. He's doing morning stretches, are ya? Excellent quality. Nicely done. You can keep them. I just wanted to see what you can do. Now, for the second test, you are to build a stone furnace. Who's he to tell me what to do? I'll build what I want to build. This one's a bit tougher. You'll need to use the assembly station in your, in your yard to complete the task. Okay. Okay, we're going from an axe to a furnace. And I think that's a bit harder, personally. Just saying, that's a sudden jump. That's sort of a big jump. If I remember correctly, your pa kept a very detailed account of the things that he made. You might want to flip through his workshop handbook and see if you can find a diagram for the stone furnace. Once you have the diagram, just use it on the assembly station in your yard to start construction. Okie dokie, let's go do that. I have got bad hay fever and when I'm reading, I can't breathe through my nose. So it's like no good. Gone. Poof. Don't even know what's going on. Okie koke. So. I need to make a stone furnace. Which means I need to get the bare rocks. I'm liking this game so far. It's a really nice chilled game to play. Just sort of quite relaxing. I'm sure it gets a little less relaxing at some point. But you know for the time being it's alright like. Bam. 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 That's not a rock. Oh, I've got a marble and some copper ore. Cheeky. You can see it sort of glitching out a little bit when picking stuff up. But as I say, early access, it's going to be a little bit janky. But I don't think you can moan with the calibre of this game for the fact that it's free and still in early access. Okay, assembly station. Brilliant. Let's flip through it. Is this the furnace? build. Oh, that's not what I want. Okay, so we needed a stone stool, so let's make that. Did I, did I just make that? I think I made one. 
Just the one. Yay! And what else was it we needed? I've already forgotten. There was something else that we needed that was here, but I can't remember what it was. A wooden trough. Okay. I don't think we've got enough wood. We might have to get some wood to make this, but you never know. All could be well. Wood. Okay, we've got the trough done. And then we need to stick this stool there. Yay, we've built a furnace, guys. Right, guys, I'm going to leave this episode here. As I say, I think this game is really good, and I can see a lot of people playing this game. However, for me, personally, on YouTube, I feel like it's hard for me to do a YouTube video around it because of the narrative, and it's really quite involved, and I find games like that, for me personally... I don't come across very well, but that's just a personal thing. I think if you was playing this game on your own, in your house, and you was just sort of chilling, you want a lot of narrative to sort of immerse you in the game, so I think that's really good. So, if you like this video, guys, be sure to leave a like. Be sure to subscribe to become a friend of the Fringe, and be sure to leave me a comment below. I'll also leave the link in the description if you want to check out the game. Thank you very much for watching. Bye-bye. One more thing guys, if you like this video, be sure to check out more of my videos below and also you can subscribe with that little circle down in the corner. Thank you very much for watching guys.